Getting older doesn't mean you have more of an excuse to be a couch potato. In fact, just the opposite is true. The older we get, the more movement and stimulation we need. It may be different than what you did when you were 30, but that's okay. Anything you can do to keep yourself healthy and active will allow your mind and your body to serve you well. Welcome to City Life. I'm Beverly Thompson. Joining me to talk about wellness after 50 are Bridget Robinson, Recreation Coordinator for Mature Adults with Durham Parks and Recreation, and Durham Senior Games Ambassador, Dr. Louise Gooch. Welcome to you both, and thanks Thank so you. much Thank for joining you. me today. You know, this time is just perfect to talk about wellness and mature adults and how they can keep well, simply because of the Durham Senior Games. I know that's coming up. Bridget, please explain to me what the games are all about. Durham Senior Games provides opportunities for mature adults 50 and better mm -hmm. to compete in a wide array of sporting events, performing arts, and civil arts. Durham Senior Games takes place April 13th through 30th, mm -hmm. and mature adults will have the opportunity to compete for gold, silver, and bronze medals in uh -huh. their prospective age groups. Okay. All right, so Dr. Louise, if I may yes. call you that, <laughs> you are the founder, and everybody knows this, of the Durham yes. Senior Divas and Dudes. What is this group all about, and how has it been involved in the Senior Games? Okay, the Durham Senior Divas and Dudes are a group of very energetic, high-energy seniors, 50 years and up. Mm -hmm. We're cheerleaders, oh. and we cheer for all occasions. Uh -huh. um, it's a year-round type of involvement. We participate in the Durham Senior Games because of the competitiveness. Mm -hmm. We then, if we qualify, and we always qualify, <laughs> of we will do. move on <laughs> to the state competition uh -huh. with the cheerleaders. So it's a lot of fun, and we just shake our pom-poms like you've never seen before. So seniors still have it going on. I hear you. Thank you. Okay, I have something to look forward to. <laughs> Actually, I probably can enjoy it yes. now. But Louise, why do you think that games like the Durham Senior Games are so important for older residents in Durham? I tend to think of our bodies as a machine. I am a retired healthcare mm -hmm. professional. And one of the best ways in which to keep your body in shape is to remain active. Mm -hmm. Senior Games will provide this for you from a social aspect, from a mental aspect along with a physical aspect. Mm -hmm. If you do not use all three of those components and keep the body moving in whatever arena it is, mm -hmm. the body will deteriorate. Okay. So senior games promote wellness, fitness, mm -hmm. and fun. Mm -hmm. Fun's important. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So Bridget, you mentioned literary and visual arts. What do these really have to do with athletic events? Performing arts and silver arts are two components of senior games. Uh -huh. If mature adults don't like the sporting event side, then the other two components provide options for participation. Uh -huh. Silver arts has five categories, visual, literary, heritage, local, and performing arts. Uh -huh. So for performing arts, Mature adults compete against each other for best in show and a chance to represent Durham at state finals. Mm -hmm. There, they will compete against other performers across the entire state of North Carolina. Okay, all right. So, Louise, what we're really talking about here is comprehensive wellness for senior citizens. Yes. I know that it incorporates, like you said, both physical and mental wellness. But yes. why is this so important after 50? It is so important because usually when we reach the age of 50 and above, we become empty nesters. Mm -hmm. The children are gone, thank goodness. And you can start a new life of social interactions. Uh -huh. This is really good. Senior Games provides this for you um, throughout the year as well as an annual or semi-annual basis mm -hmm. when you, again, are able to connect and communicate with those of your age bracket. Mm -hmm. For an example, if you played baseball when you were in high school and college and so forth, mm -hmm. you know, you feel that 
when I reach the age of 50 or 60, I have to hang up my cleats, put away the bas the baseball cap and all of that, and just sit down and get ready to write my eulogy. Senior mm. Games <laughs> prevents that uh -huh. because it gives you something to look forward to. I hear you. That sounds mm -hmm. great. So Bridget, tell me how the Senior Games are really designed to promote wellness year round. Okay, mature adults practice and train on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. Many of them are members of leagues or teams that provide them opportunities for year-round wellness. In addition, they also participate in exercise and fitness programs. Mm -hmm. So let me ask you if someone has led the life of a couch potato, or, you know, a sedentary <laughs> life, should they really start trying to compete uh, in a sport or even just uh, be a part of the games even? Absolutely. Really? Okay. Senior games, the great thing about senior games is it offers something for everybody, mm -hmm. regardless of athletic ability or talent. Mm -hmm. There's something for all. Should people check with their doctors first? Just like any other exercise regimen, uh -huh. if they feel like there's um, some health or safety concerns, I would definitely say consult. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, they can participate at their leisure. Uh-huh. Whatever's good for them. Yes, ma'am. It doesn't max them out too much, huh? So, uh, Louise, how do the Senior Games promote social connection? I think you touched on this just a little bit. But why is yeah. that so important after the age of 50? Because um, we are now empty nesters. Mm -hmm. There is always the possibility of feeling alone mm -hmm. and isolated. Senior games really will keep you on your toes because you have to stay actively involved throughout the year uh -huh. so that you are ready for competition or you are ready for observation or whatever, you know, it may be. Mm -hmm. It gets you out of the house. It gives you the opportunity to look forward to doing something. Mm -hmm. Piggybacking on um, what Bridget just said, you're never too old to participate in senior games. You mm -hmm. have to be at least 50 to play with us. Mm -hmm. So it's 50 and up. Uh -huh. I had always wanted to be a cheerleader all of my life. Uh -huh. I grew up on a farm, so I couldn't stay after school because I was bust. Mm -hmm. When I went to college, I didn't have enough money to participate in extra activities. Uh -huh. And then I graduated from college then I was busy working, mm -hmm. so I still couldn't do it. I waited until I retired and started a senior citizen cheerleading squad. Uh -huh. I learned how to do a full split at the age of 62. Wow. I am in my 70s uh -huh. now, and I still got it going. You go, girl. Yes. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I'm so glad you got a chance to make your dream come true. Yes. Yeah, yes. that's important for all of us. Yes. Yeah, and no matter what the age is, exactly. right? Exactly. Right. So, Bridget, whether people officially compete in anything or not, what are some of the ways that people who are over 50 can be more active? I would definitely encourage mature adults to tap into local resources and find out what programs are available mm -hmm. and get involved. Mm -hmm. At our recreation centers, we offer a wide array of leisure and recreational outlets. So mm -hmm. that, again, that provides another out outlet and opportunity for them. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. So, Louise, tell me, what have been some of your favorite moments of the Senior Games? And I know you've seen it, how it helps women and men mm -hmm. as well, over 50, mm -hmm. just get involved and keep active. But how, how do you remember those times at the Games? I think um, being involved with the games, it allows you to say to the general public, mm -hmm. just because you've reached a certain age, it does not mean that life stops. Right. Mm -hmm. For an example, we perform for kindergarten, um, grade school, high school, college students, and just to see them look at us like, wow. I can't believe these old folks out there are doing that. Uh -huh. One time we performed with a hip hop group and they were spinning around on their heads and doing all sorts of things. So I said to them, we can't spin around on our heads like you all are doing, <laughs> but we can stay out here on this floor and shake our pom poms uh -huh. just as long as you can. Uh -huh. So it becomes like an excitement of competition between the young 
and the old. Uh -huh. It says to our grandchildren, you know, we can still move around. We can still show you that we have a talent that you didn't even know existed. Right. Right. My son refers to me and my cheerleader group as being abnormal senior citizens. And by that he means, how many people do you know in their 70s and 80s, and our oldest cheerleader is 83. Uh -huh. mm. wow. And she is the topper for the pyramid. Uh -huh. <laughs> the normal senior does Don't not do, do that. that. Right. <laughs> so life begins, I always say, at 50. Uh -huh. So abnormal is not always bad, huh? Abnormal is definitely no. not bad comes to senior games. Right, right. And Bridget, what are some of your favorite stories of the Durham Senior Games? What have you seen happen? Well, actually come to mind. Um, one of my favorite ones is doing senior games. I've had a couple of mature adults that have come up to me. They'll have their medals on. It'll be five <laughs> or six stacked up. They're smiling. Mm -hmm. And they'll say, Bridget, I never thought I could do this. Oh, this is my first mm -hmm. year participating in the senior games, and mm -hmm. I have medaled in every single event that I participated in. Mm -hmm. And they'll look at me and say, thank you. Aww. And so all I can do is smile because I'm happy for them. I'm glad that they came out and took advantage of the opportunity. Mm -hmm. And then another favorite of mine is when mature adults have come up to me and say, Thank you so much for putting all of this on for us. Oh, wow. It's not always easy working with the older crowd, <laughs> but we thank you for it. Uh -huh. I just smile and tell them it's my pleasure because it truly is. Oh, that is so it nice. Is. What a great story. Thank How you. many um, seniors actually get involved during the year? Last year, we got right at 300, maybe like 298. Mm -hmm. We've grown tremendously um, over the years, and we mm -hmm. hope this year the top 300, 350 would be phenomenal. Yes. But we'll mm -hmm. take whatever we can get, yes. uh -huh. you know, because this is one of the great things that I really like about my job. Planning senior games takes a uh, year-round effort uh -huh. with the help of the ambassadors, and our event manager committee, we have the local coordinators committee. So it's a lot of hands in the pot to make this thing work. Mm -hmm. And each year, it's one of the things that we really look forward to. Mm -hmm. So if someone wants to get involved, how do they do that? For senior games? For senior games. Mm -hmm. They can go to www.dprplaymore.org mm -hmm. 328, mm -hmm. or they could visit one of our recreation centers or go to the Durham Parks and Recreation Administrative Office. Okay, all right. So is there anything else either of you would like to add? Yeah. I want everybody to remember that you don't stop playing when you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. So come on out and play with the seniors, an event that you will never, ever forget. <laughs> I can't think of a better way to invite people to come out <laughs> and a better spokesperson to do it. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank you for having us. Anytime. Okay. Well, that does it for City Life. Don't forget to follow us on social media, watch us on Durham Television Network, and on YouTube, and listen to our podcast on iTunes. I'm Beverly Thompson. Thank you for joining me to learn more about City Life in Durham.